They were subjected to intimidation and accused of assisting a criminal by the authorities in the U.S. and beyond. Yet the two journalists who broke the NSA surveillance scandal returned to the U.S. for the first time to accept a prestigious journalism award for their work with Edward Snowden. As RT's Anastasia Cherkina reports, the debate started by their actions to expose top-level misdeeds is now stronger than ever. June this year will mark the first anniversary since the major NSA surveillance scandal was leaked by former CIA contractor Edward Snowden and spread throughout the world by uh, journalist Glenn Greenwald and his colleagues through their investigative reporting. This Friday, Glenn Greenwald returned to the United States, his homeland, for the first time since the NSA scandal broke. How was your return back home? Did you experience any difficulty at the airport? No, it was very smooth, um, which is what we expected, which is why we came back, um, because we didn't think that the U.S. government would do something really counterproductive and they didn't so we're happy about that. We've seen Glenn Greenwald and his colleagues attacked and accused of being traitors, accused of being criminals and accomplices and possibly uh, questions were raised on whether they should be tried in the United States for doing their job and certainly this has started a whole major debate on the role of journalists in modern society and being intimidated for telling the truth. There are ways to intimidate journalists. You can imprison them in mass but there are other ways to do it, and calling journalists working on stories accomplices or having powerful chairmen of committees specifically accuse journalists of being criminals and advocating for the prosecution or having major media figures openly debate whether we ought to prosecute it is a way to intensify that climate of fear. With all of these tactics of fear being used against journalists, Glenn Greenwald did say that it was a matter of principle to return to the United States. But of course, none of the information that was revealed would have been brought into the light without Edward Snowden. For the act of bringing to the world's attention this system of mass surveillance that had been constructed in the dark, he's now threatened with literally decades in prison, probably the rest of his life, as a result of what the United States government is doing, I think is really odious and unacceptable. U.S. officials behind the mass surveillance, of course, remain unaccountable, and journalists who brought the truth into the light face a future which is very uncertain. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.